Hey guys, today I want to showcase 10 best Japanese ramen you must try. You will be surprised what I discovered for the top threes, so make sure to watch the whole video. I don't want you to miss it. Let's get started. Number 10. Yakushima Saifun Yakiboto Ramen This ramen is a combination of sweet and salty, and settles just right on your taste buds. The broth settles perfectly well with the meat, which is usually pork. The meat is drenched in the broth for a better experience. The Naruto Maki, the sweet onion, and bamboo shoots all add flavor to the broth. The Yakibata pork is what gives this ramen its unique identity. The noodles are thick in size, but they're very tender and have the perfect level of chewiness. The soy flavor contributes to the saltiness, but it's just at the right level to not overshadow the slight sweetness this ramen has. The slices of pork, though, are usually the piece of the puzzle that steals the show. Couple them with bamboo shoots and you'll wish this magnificent bowl of ramen stayed in your system forever. Number 9. Myojo Ipaichan Yakibosa Yakibosa, which translates to fried noodles, is a class of ramen that one has to try if one is to proclaim themselves as a ramen connoisseur. This yakibosa is extremely flavorsome and comes with a variety of toppings to choose from. The different flavors in these ramen are spicy chicken and spicy gourmet. The yakibosa are usually stir-fried in soy sauce, Worcestershire sauce, vegetables, and different types of meat to give the ramen a uniquely incredible taste. The veggies that are added to these noodles are carrots, cabbage, bell peppers, and scallions. Once they leave the wok and come straight into your plate, it's a sight to behold with the aroma and steam right in your face. Number 8. Sapporo Ichiban Shio Ramen Noodles Any kind of ramen that gets its flavor and salinity primarily from salt rather than miso or soy sauce is called Shio Ramen. It's probably the simplest ramen to prepare as it's prepared in a blend of chicken stock and dashi and flavored with a solution of salt, lemon, and dried seaweed. Sapporo Ichiban is the second most popular ramen brand in Japan after Nissin, so you know the quality that you're getting. Letting the noodles breathe and settle in the shot-based broth will give them a nice flavor and end up making them extra juicy. Then other sauces that are to be added are the broth mix, powder to taste, and a bit of sesame sauce. Shio noodles are ready to go. Number 7. Nissan UFO Yakibosa Another one from the gold mines of Nissan. UFO Yakibosa noodles are again a variety of Yakibosa that are fried. The wheat flour noodles have a good flavor and texture as one can expect from Yakibosa. The noodles are stir-fried in a broth of soy sauce with loose vegetable garnish, showered with seasoning oil, garnishing with a bit of spice, and in the end, they have a bit of spicy mayo to top things off. The spicy ramen is bound to leave your insides on fire, so make sure to have the spicy mayo in small quantities. According to one's preference, more meat slices and vegetables can also be added. Number 6. Ipudo Instant Ramen At number 6, we have Ipudo's Instant Ramen. Ipudo, one of the most popular ramen joints in the world, who have released their ramen. Their instant ramen comes with two special broth flavor packs, one usual seasoning sauce and another black soy sauce and spicy miso sauce. The best thing about this ramen is that it comes with a large slice of pork to add to your ramen. The part where we add pork is understandable, since this ramen is made in tonkatsu broth, pork bone broth. And tonkatsu takes a whole day to be prepared, hence this instant ramen is going to fulfill your ramen needs. Do you like the video so far? If yes, smash that like button. You don't want to miss what I have for the top three, so keep watching. Number 5. Myojo Wakame Ramen The Myojo Wakame noodles are not fried. This causes the bowl of ramen to taste refreshing as it's a soupy bowl of goodness right from the pot into your belly. The word wakome translates to edible seaweed. The shoyu base soup is spiced up with sesame and includes slices of seaweed that cover up the surface of the soup. Other additions in this scrumptious bowl of ramen are pork, fish, and edible crustaceans. Mung bean sprouts combined with the right broth make this ramen a treat for you, if you're a first timer. Number 4. Marutai Hakata Tonkatsu Ramen the Marutai Hakata noodles are another variation of ramen being made in pork bone soup stock with thin noodles. The flavors of pork and garlic give a delightful taste to these noodles. 
along with the pork broth and the slices of pork that are added to these noodles. This ramen also contains dehydrated spring onions and carrots, which can be added to the broth. Kiku Rage mushrooms are first soaked in water for around 30 minutes and then added to the main broth. With the main recipe ready, seaweed garnish is used to cap off a fantastically made bowl of ramen. Then we dig in. Number three, Itsuki Kamamoto Makoso Ramen. Itsuki Kamamoto is thick soupy ramen immersed in pork bone broth with lots of bits of garlic and a fine quantity of seasoning oil. It has the same origins as the tonkatsu ramen as they both are made from the same kind of broth. The noodles in this are thick and chewy with a broth that is creamy and spicy with the spice complementing on the pork bone flavor. For extra flavor, chopped spring onions, bean sprouts, and whole boiled eggs are also added to the bowl. Number two, Nissen Donbei Kinsune Ramen Noodles. Served in a noodle soup form, the broth is made from a rich soy sauce that will match the noodles nicely. Though this recipe is preferable for vegetarians, it can also be made to suit the taste buds of meat lovers. The broth, called kakejiru, is made of dashi, soy sauce, and mirin. The ramen is usually topped with chopped scallions. Other toppings include tempura, prawn, and kakaraj, a type of mixed tempura fritter or abarage. Shishimi can also be added as a taste enhancer. Number one, Sapporo Ichiban Watofuko Okonami Sauce Yakibosa. Finally, we reach the peak of the mountain. This ramen is particularly famous during celebratory events and festivals. The Okonami sauce has mouth-watering ingredients that are sure to leave you wanting for more. These ingredients give a slightly sweeter flavor to the whole broth. Noodles are also garnished with flake seaweed that comes with a little mayonnaise packet. Another variant of this is a spicier version that has rice jalapeno peppers. That is surely going to set the taste buds on fire. Cabbage and edible seaweed are also good taste enhancers, making the whole ramen even better with a bit of crunch. But the way the mayo elevates the taste of this ramen is incredible. No other condiment can raise the taste of a single ramen bowl like this. It's just a perfect match. We're reaching the end of the list. You're probably starving right now after watching so many different ramen choices. Comment below. Let us know which is your favorite ramen. If you enjoy watching this video, please press that like button and subscribe. I'll see you in the next video.